brought his blessings, everyone. And as you can tell, probably tell, I'm driving home right now on the freeway. Yay! Let's hear it for safety, everyone. Anyway, um, I wanted to make a comment today uh, because uh, a fellow YouTuber um, who has not made a video in a while, and you know who you are. <laughs> um, I follow him on Facebook as well, and he's known as Neo Pagan 2007. Everybody who knows his first name, you know his first name. I'm not saying who it is. Yay! Anyway, Neo Pagan was uh, saying that he needed a test for um, something physical. Okay, uh, regarding something. I think I think his heart or something like that. And he has insurance. He's one of the lucky few Americans that do. Um, he has a good job, and it provides it for him. Most Americans either don't have health insurance, uh, or you know their company, if if they do provide it, a lot of times they can't afford to pay what they need to pay to have it themselves, or you know. The insurance is so shit that there's no point in having it. Uh, for example, uh, my girlfriend, she gets insurance through work. And every year, slowly but surely, the deductibles keep rising and the, uh, the amount that she pays for it herself also keeps rising. There is one thing that falls every year and that is the amount that it covers. But she doesn't have the luxury of not taking it anymore because she's diabetic. She also doesn't have the luxury of getting other insurance other than what is offered through work. Because, well, she's overweight, number one. And number two, she has a pre-existing condition called diabetes. The very reason why she needs the health insurance. At this point in time right now, though, what the health insurance is doing for her is it just gives her the privilege of saying that she has health insurance while really saving her nothing more than what she would normally pay without health insurance. Basically, she's paying to have the privilege to say that she has health insurance. God bless America. Hmm? Um... <clears throat> problem with uh, what was going on with uh, Neo Peg in 2007 is that he needs these tests. It's an important test. It has something to do with the heart. Okay? Yet he cannot get his insurance company to pay for it. So therefore he must pay out of his pocket for these tests or this test uh, which happens to be like over $400. Well, luckily, he has a good job, and he has the ability to pay for it. But I'm wondering, what happens if these tests show something wrong? Well, his insurance wouldn't pay for the test. What makes him, what makes him or anybody else think that they're going to pay for anything that needs to be done to fix this condition if he does have it, or has anything that needs to be fixed? And the sucky thing is, is they won't pay for it, therefore it doesn't even count towards his deductible. Wow. You know, thankfully he does have a good job, and he does have money enough to pay for it. But what's the point of health insurance if it's picking and choosing? I'm not going to pay for this. I'm not going to pay for that. He's not having a fucking facelift, people. He's not having a tummy tuck or an ass tuck or anything that's, you know, what would be, you know, cosmetic. This is his fucking heart, people. What about this should not be covered? What about it should not be covered? You know? But even even with that, he's lucky enough to have health insurance and good health insurance. Someone like me doesn't have health insurance. I'm currently not working right now, but even if I do have uh, a job, most of the time, it doesn't provide health insurance. And if it does, well, you, 
usually it's the crap insurance that you end up paying basically for nothing more than the privilege of saying that you have health insurance. And I don't pay for that. Sorry. I just don't. You know, got a lot of people saying, why don't you lose weight? Why don't you get this? Why don't you get that? Well, I don't know. Why don't you get a fucking clue and realize I'm not fat just because I eat a lot. I have a medical condition that I cannot get treatment for because I have no health insurance. God forbid I should actually get health insurance that actually pays for anything. It's a pre-existing condition and will not be covered. So, again, let's all sing, sing it. Can we? Shall we? God bless America, land that I so fucking love. Stand beside her, cause God knows she doesn't stand beside you. Never mind. Anyway, as pr people could probably guess, I was for Obama's health care as it was originally um, put. You know, I believe that we should be forced to have medical care, uh, medical health care. That's a good thing. We should all have health care. And if we cannot afford to pay for it as we need it, then that's where the public option bails our asses out. I'd love to get treatment for my condition that helps me with my weight problem. It's not fun, people. It really isn't. You know, it's a lot worse on me than it is for you to sit there and watch my fucking fat ass. Amongst other issues that I have, but I have to sit there and just play through the pain as I do through life, and I have through most of my life. And I'm not bitching. I just don't like it when other people bitch about it. Because they're not going through it. I am. But no, we couldn't have the public option, which really fucks everything up. Oh yeah, the one good thing, you know, later on, you know, down the road, um, pre-existing conditions shouldn't matter. Be, they'll be forced to take you doesn't mean they can't charge you up the ass money that I don't have I'm sorry I'm not a Rush Limbaugh I'm not one of the cats that can actually afford to pay for this shit I am a college student and a starving one at that so I just may be forced to break the law what are they gonna do throw me in prison with free health care? Oh well, I guess that's the way it's supposed to be then. You know, when people were fighting tooth and nail not to get this thing passed, and they actually ended up taking out one of the most important parts of Obama's health care, and that was the public option. man. And they go on, oh, Obama's going to have these death squads and he's going to, you know, say who lives or who dies or whoever. Of course there's going to be some things that are not going to be covered. Show me what insurance doesn't have that. But people are yelling and screaming about Obama's death squads. Well, I can guarantee you one thing. Everything that Obama's health care wouldn't have paid for, would have denied, it would have been a hell of a lot less than any insurance company does right now. If Obama does it and has it as universal health care, oh my God, it's a fucking death squad. But if the insurance companies that do nothing more than nickel and dime us to death, cover things that have no right to be covered while not covering other things that are life that, that are needed to, to stay alive 
you don't call them death squads. You're like, oh, well, Obama's health care. Death squads, death squads, death squads, yada, yada, yada. Obamacare, death squads. But when you get something that's way worse, then it's like, oh, all right, whatever. People, we are America and we not need to start caring for our citizens, for our American citizens. And you know, maybe I'm just a socialist bitch. I guess I do tend to be a socialist. I have no problem being taxed up the ass and not have to worry about having health care and not have to worry about this and not have to worry about that. I know that I will have the health care that I need and if I need something more that I can pay for it out of my pockets, you know, if it's cosmetic or whatever. I like to know that I don't have to be $50,000, $100,000 in debt by the time I finish my schooling. I'd like to know that I'm taken care of as far as that to where I get a free college education, if not at least low cost. This is ridiculous. I'd like to know that I can have a vacation that's like three weeks. To be able to have things like uh, maternity leave for mothers and paternity leave for fathers. I'd like to know that, you know, I can do all this stuff. And I'd be more than willing to pay a higher tax bracket to be and have that kind of security. I don't have a problem with that. And I think that a lot more people would not have a problem with it if people didn't just use the word socialism as a scare tactic. The words socialism, communism, uh, and, you know, anything that sounds scary to throw off the masses. Anytime someone throws these words at you, you cannot sit there and go, we cannot have this. You have to look it up to understand exactly what it is. Because a lot of these scary words are not so fucking scary. You want to be scared. Look at what the healthcare system truly is. That's my rant. That's my rave from the socialist anarchist. Better known as Mystic Blue 1212. Blessed be everyone. And let's fight together to try to make, I don't know, something out of this.